Decred is a cryptocurrency designed to upgrade and evolve over time based on the input of its coin holders. A cutting edge hybrid proof of work, proof of stake mining system offers users dual layer security, voting rights on network changes, what proposals to pursue, optional privacy with high participation, and how to spend Decred's self-funded treasury. How can Decred be self-funded, you ask? 10% of each block reward is allocated into a decentralized treasury fund, which is protected by opcodes. This fund is used to pay developers who make Decred better every single month. Only Decred stakeholders can approve treasury spends. In this development update, we'll go over what the developers and community have been up to. We'll start by discussing the five proposals up for discussion on Politea, Decred's proposal platform. First is the Decred status platform. The status page is a platform that monitors the availability of key network services, applications, and APIs on the Decred network and displays this information on a simple page. It also serves as a simple comms platform which users can turn to for information when experiencing outages and where planned or unplanned maintenance work can be announced. The total cost is $3,320 for the entire year, including site maintenance and the cost of the VPS, which the service runs on. Work will be performed by longtime Decred developers, Peter Zen and Jay Holdstock. Next, we have CryptoPower, Golang native desktop and mobile wallet phase two from Draycott. The CryptoPower lightweight SPV wallets have been released for desktop and mobile. They support everything you'd want in a Decred wallet, staking, voting, mixing, and of course, sending and receiving. These wallets look sleek and modern with a true dark mode and some nice features that set them apart from current Decred software. The real-time exchange rate is displayed in the wallet. There's also an InstaSwap service built into the wallet. DEX support is also planned for atomic swaps. These are multi-coin wallets, so they support Litecoin and Bitcoin. The next phase of their proposal focuses on fixing all existing bugs and improving user experience, as well as providing long-term support for the year. They had planned on adding things like Trezor and Ledger support, as well as virtual prepaid cards, but opted to focus on bugs due to community demand. The mobile builds are still in beta and are undergoing testing. This proposal will last for the rest of the year and cost up to $70,000 US dollars paid in Decred. The Decred website refresh 2024 proposal requests approval from Decred stakeholders to deploy a website refresh to Decred.org. This updated website includes intro text with some core information, a features section, a stats section, a why Decred section, relevant quotes from placeholder and arc, and updated copywriting to be more direct. The motivation behind the website change was to make it easier for new users to understand and to make it more ad friendly. The total cost is $3,250 paid in Decred. Decred Vanguard 2024 is a proposal requesting $78,000 paid in Decred to continue the Decred Vanguard outreach initiative. Vanguard is a community-based program tasked with promoting Decred across social media. Contributors are incentivized to organize, form strategies, and ultimately be as loud as possible about Decred. Anyone committed to helping Decred grow has the possibility to join. For this phase, they plan on expanding their scope by running promoted posts on X, which is Twitter, creating contributor tiers, and organizing giveaways to help promote Decred software. X promoted posts are the most direct and conventional method of advertising Decred and getting new eyes on Decred's tech stack, documentation, and other resources. $1,000 per month will be allocated to this cause. Contributors will also receive funding for X Premium in order to increase outreach. Giveaways will also serve a role in promoting Decred software, including giveaways on Reddit. Contributor tiers have been established to reward the most active and productive members. Last year's proposal used $20,953 against a budget of $46,784. The proposal states they expect to use about 50% of the requested funds. The final proposal is the Decred Content and Asset Translations 2024 proposal from Kozel. This proposal requests $37,000 for the year to do various translation work in different languages like Chinese, Spanish, Polish, and Arabic. It is important to note it is open to new contributors from different language groups. So if you have some translation skills, consider reaching out on Telegram or Discord. Translation work involves the website, Decred software, important articles, videos, and other news, though this is at the contributor's discretion. Last proposal spent $18,955 against a budget of $33,000.
Bison Relay decrypts peer-to-peer -peer communications protocol running on Lightning is now available on Android for testing. It should be noted that your Bison Relay seed from desktop will not work on the mobile version, so you'll need to create a new account. Lots of different bugs have been submitted and work is ongoing to fix these bugs. The DCR DEX is coming along with Arbitrage and Market Maker bots. For DCR DEX, Decrypt's peer-to-peer -peer trading platform powered by Atomic Swaps, a new transaction history UI has been implemented showing transaction history. Decrypt privacy mixing and staking has been integrated into the DEX user interface. Notifications were simplified when order quantity was too high. Bump the DCR DEX desktop version to the latest version 0.6.3. Successfully switched to support native USDC on Polygon, which has much lower fees than Ethereum. Implemented low-level sex management functions. Deposit withdrawal and balance tracking for the Binance Arbitrage bot to operate. Modified the Binance code to track 1,000 order book entries instead of 20 for the Arbitrage bot. And finally, merged work for the market maker and arbitrage bot user interfaces. All of this should be included in the upcoming DEX version 1 release. Added documentation for how a new voting service provider admin can get their VSP listed in Decrediton and on decred.org slash VSP. For DCR wallet, an issue was fixed where the wallet might try to look at blocks before the DCRD instance was fully synced. The result would be mistransaction notifications and the wallet's balance to be wrong, requiring a rescan to be fixed. When the wallet is syncing in SPV mode, header batches are processed in parallel. There were also improvements to SPV mode and the results are a 32% faster sync on average when tested. And now let's look at community updates. Binance Margin has added Decred as a new borrowable asset on isolated margin. Viewers are recommended to check out dcrdata.org to view the latest network statistics about staking, ticket price, hash rate, and treasury size. Decred Society created videos on simple payments verification. If you're looking for a non-custodial mobile wallet, the ideal solution is one that uses an SPV model. SPV wallets are designed to be intentionally lightweight as they interact with the blockchain by only fetching and downloading the data that is absolutely necessary. This includes block headers, block filters, and the full blocks that contain transaction information directly associated with your wallet. As you can imagine, this reduces the size, setup, and sync time considerably from hours to minutes. In Decred's case, the required storage space for a fully validating node is approximately 12 gigabytes, whilst its SPV counterpart is approximately 0.2 gigabytes. How does Decred's SPV wallet work? Imagine we're a lightweight wallet. Our job is to track users' funds, more specifically, to track the addresses and transactions. Having those, we can compute the balances. Thanks for watching this Decred development update. Be sure to check out decred.org to learn more.